asparagus and sun-dried tomato frittata coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Part of our Canada 150 celebration is to share great recipes, ideas, and tips with you from across the country. I called my dear friend Emily Richards. You may remember her from her sautéed warm olives on her City Slicker video. She also did the beautiful carrots and zucchini recipe. I called her, I said, Emily, what do you want to do? She said, well, Nick, it's got to be something with a bit of Italian flavor. Emily Richards is the author of Perla Familia, a fantastic book about her Italian heritage. And because we live in a country that supports multiculturalism and cultural heritage, I thought it's nice to have Emily share one of her recipes that gives a bit of a nod to her Italian roots. We're making this frittata, which in essence is an open-faced omelet. And we start by chopping a few ingredients. I'm chopping some fresh asparagus, about a cup and a half, half a cup of fresh leek, now, if you want to substitute the leek for garlic scape when in season, Emily says this recipe is remarkable if made with garlic scape. I'm chopping some sun-dried tomato, some basil, here's to basilico, and then I shouldn't be surprised that my beloved Italian friend is making a breakfast item using pasta. We've cooked off some very small shell pasta that'll be added into this frittata. Before heading to stovetop to cook the frittata, I'm whisking together six eggs with the fresh basil. Now at stovetop, I have the skillet on medium-high. I'm adding about two tablespoons of canola oil. When the oil comes to temperature, I add in our asparagus and our leek. Add a bit of salt and pepper. In the recipe, Emily is calling for a quarter teaspoon of each. So add half the salt, half the pepper. Stir everything into the skillet. Emily's direction in this recipe is she wants these vegetables to remain tender, crisp, so don't overcook them. Once they're still kind of crunchy, we're adding in our sun-dried tomatoes plus the pasta. Stir everything together and allow it to cook for about two minutes. Everything in the skillet is sizzling. I'm adding the eggs and the basil. Stir it a little bit and now leave your skillet to rest on the stove top. What we need to have happen is the underside needs to brown a bit and you can lift up the edge uh, with your spatula just to see once it's nice and golden, we're on to the final steps. Now our oven rack is in the top position. Turn your setting to broil. We're going to place the skillet in and because it's under the broiler, this is going to cook the top of the frittata. Your eggs will set and cook in about three minutes. Take the skillet out of the oven and then a sprinkling of uh, about a third of a cup of cheddar cheese. We're using an old sharp Canadian, kind of like me the sharp part. Anyway, we're adding a bit of cheese to the top. It goes back in the oven and it melts. And it comes out, it should look like this. It should be nice and bubbly. All of the cheese is melted. Now we're ready to enjoy. You can serve it with a side salad or Emily suggests tucking it into a beautiful piece of bread. Um, I think that I'm just going to take a little portion now. Portions out really nice. And then, mmm, I love the underside. It's perfectly cooked. The eggs are set. Mm. Mmm, 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 what do we say in Italian? Mmm, incredibile. Emily, this is fabulous. Oh, you guys are going to want to make this. It's very delicious. Looking for other delicious ideas, recipes, tips, you name it, we got it. Head to weekendatthecottage.com, subscribe to our website. Also subscribe to our dedicated YouTube channel. Also look for us on your favorite social media feeds, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. A final shout out to my very dear Emily Richards. Thank you so much. Uh, if you'd like more information about Emily and her fabulous book, Carla Familia, head to our story at Weekend at the Cottage. I'll list links at the bottom and you can find Emily and have a discussion about uh, all of her incredible Italian food. Uh, let's eat. Tutto buon appetito. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. This is good.